which platform is more popular, Power BI or Fabric? That's what we are going to find out in today's video. Let's get started. So I have asked you on LinkedIn which platform you think is more popular, and um, most of you both voted Power BI and ask me a few questions. So I'm going to answer the questions before we actually show the data. The first question is, can you really compare them? And I'm not comparing them technically, I'm just comparing them in popularity. So it's very common to compare um, platforms that are perhaps don't do the exact same thing, but related. And we will do the same just on popularity alone. But Power BI has been around for 10 years. How are you going to do it? Well, I'm going to compare them by launched date. I will explain the method in a second, but what we're going to do is reset the time and start from zero when Power BI started and when Fabric started and compare them from there. How are you going to compare them? Do you have internal usage data? No, I don't, I don't have that. Microsoft would not have any reason to share that with me, but you can measure absolutely anything that you want using public data. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, so how are you going to measure it? Here's the thing. It's quite well known that the size of a community is related to the size of how big and popular the tool actually is. So for example, if you look at Excel, you'll see there are a million and one Excel communities. And if you look, for example, I, I don't know, I'm not going to bash any tool, but let's look at OneNote, you'll see that there are not many around and that talks about how popular both tools are. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to look at how big the Power community is and the Fabric community is and take it from there. So have you downloaded the data from all communities? No, I am aware that there are a few Power communities out there. You have them on uh, Reddit, you have them on Stack Overflow, of course, YouTube. But I just took a look at all the communities that I knew about and found out, but both for Fabric and Power BI, the powerbi.community.com or fabricnowadays.community.com are the biggest ones. So those are the ones that I will focus on. And I think they are a good indicator of the other size of the communities for what I have seen. So with that said, we're going to take a look at the data. I scraped the entire fabric.community.com uh, using Python. It was impossible to do with Power Query. So I got all the posts ever posted in there. And I have, as you probably know, there are a few communities so, or a few forums. So I put all the Power BI related forums together and all the Fabric forums together and downloaded both views and the posts. Okay. And if we look at the chart on the X axis, it will be from the day of launch of each of the forums. So if a forum within Power BI was launched on different dates, I will reset both of them and even for Fabric, the same thing. So this is the number of days since the launch of each of the forums grouped into Power BI and Fabric. And the number is the number of posts accumulated by day. Okay, so here you will see the total numbers and the growth by day. And let's check it out. Okay, ready, play. Right, so this says the days after launch, and this is the number of posts and the growth for each of the platforms. It looks quite similar at the beginning. You know, Power BI, it was very underdeveloped when it got launched, not like Fabric that comes already from a mature product, which was Synapse. Power BI was bare bones, bare bones, actually. So maybe that's why people were asking more questions in the beginning. And now we're getting close to the year of launch. And you, you, you can't see the difference, can you? 
Right, and there it stops because you know I stopped this. I think I downloaded data up to May, somewhere in May. Um, so I can do a new download maybe in six months to see how that looks. Okay, so let's look at all the numbers. What you can see here is the number of posts on both communities. And this is where Fabric stops because it's been around just for a year. And uh, you can see the amazing growth that Power BI has had. But if we learn something from the pandemic is that when you're measuring growth, it's good to do it in a logarithmic scale. I do have a video on my second channel that talks about logarithmic growth and why it's a good idea. So go and check it out. I'll post a link down below. But what it shows basically is, it, is this really still growing like it shows here or is it plateauing, like starting to decrease the growth? So let's take a look at that. As you can see, Power BI had a humongous growth from when it was launched and then continued growing. And now it is plateauing a little bit. The same is happening with Fabric already now. You can see that the inference, like how it is, like, mm, so this is for posts. I'm going to show you for views. So this is how the data looks for the number of views and the logarithmic views. And there you have it. So Power BI growth is not exponential anymore. Still an amazing growth. Fabric is just maturing already now after a year. So summary. Is Power BI more popular than Fabric? I would like to say yes. Please, if you do an analysis, let me know what your findings are. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I actually recorded it when I created everything and I put it on the members side of the channel. So if you want to check it out how I did it, you can join and have all the videos available there. So I will see you again in the next one.